Good morning. Glad to see you today. Hope you're doing well. Come on with us to Mark 16, verse 15. Jesus says to the apostles, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. It is a very simple verse, but it is a verse that a lot of times people twist to fit their own doctrines. It's a verse a lot of times people just ignore. It's a verse I haven't heard about one lady who got out a pair of scissors and physically cut it right out of her Bible. You can do that if you want to, but Jesus still said it. Please notice, the Lord does not say, He who does not believe and is not baptized will be saved. A lot of folks have that idea, that as long as someone fits their idea of good, then they'll be saved. The Lord said what He said, and we need to respect it. Also notice, the Lord does not say, um, that he who is baptized will be saved and then later on he needs to believe. A lot of folks teach that. Namely, that is what Catholicism teaches. That you sprinkle infants, you baptize their idea of baptizing infants and then years later you teach them what they need to believe. The Lord said what he said and we need to respect it. The Lord also did not say that he, he does not say in verse 16, he who believes is saved and then he needs to be baptized to show that he's already been saved. That's not what he says either. He says what he says. If your takeaway from he who does not believe will be condemned, if your takeaway from that is, well, that means you don't have to be baptized to be saved, uh, you're just twisting the verse. He who does not believe, of course he's not going to be baptized. He does not believe. But the thing is, if you don't understand what baptism is for, then you really don't understand repentance. See, a lot of times folks have the idea that just as long as you repent, you'll be saved. And what we need to understand, it's sort of like, consider if you blow through a stop sign and a policeman stops you. If you tell that policeman that you, you're never going to do it again, does that mean you're not guilty of breaking the law? No, of course you're guilty. See, baptism, baptism is where Christ is found. We are not saved because of something that we have done. Right? We are not saved simply because we stop sinning. That's not, how, that's not how we're saved. Baptism is where Christ is found. We are baptized into Christ. Baptism is where grace is found. Right? Think about this verse. Think about Acts 2. Repent and be baptized for the remission of sins. Right? You, you, do not, you do not find grace. We are baptized into the death of Christ. You do not find grace before you find Christ. You do not find grace before you find the cross. Read Romans 6 if you don't understand what I'm talking about. That is why the Lord says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved. We need to understand what baptism is for. And it's not trusting in our own power. It's trusting in the one that we are putting on. Galatians 3.27, As many of you as were baptized have put on Christ. Hope you enjoyed this study today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.